Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue. Finally, welcome back to the true Anna Dialogue environment. This is a special episode because we're going to focus, we're going to take a look at a new type of tape player, a new Walkman. Want to know what it is? Let's take a look. Okay guys, so while I was traveling in Japan, if you haven't seen that video, take a look here at this link, I was contacted by Recording the Masters. Yes, for those of you that you don't know who, who they are, maybe you're familiar with their re recent release, the Fox tape, the Ferric Oxide. And uh, obviously they are very famous also for producing, for bringing back in production reel to reel tapes, the original Basfin Agfa formulas, top notch quality. And now they're, they're dedicating, they're bringing more attention to what is cassettes. Hence, in fact, they contact me, and I'm sure they contacted other people, asking me if I wanted to test the prototype of a new Walkman they were developing. Yes, because soon, on Kickstarter, actually around mid-February, they said, maybe the end of February, in any case, I will put the date and the link for their Kickstarter in the video description. So make sure you come back to this video and take a look and check the final release date for the Kickstarter. And they asked me if I wanted to give it a try to do some kind of a review and tell them about, especially about the audio quality. They would like to increase, they would like to produce create a product with a better characteristics, sonic characteristics than the actual tape players that are currently made. And as you know, as you probably know, there are very, very few and the quality is rather flimsy. So I was obviously thrilled to do this. And after just a few days, they sent me this. Let's take a look. So they use the word prototype but it's not completely correct because it, it is already a product on sale. Uh, I checked this blog, L'Etoile Sous Recute, which is a blog dedicated to listen, the, the web listening, it should be translated in English, dedicated to, to music. It's, it's, it's just a, a personal blog where this person is also selling this Walkman with other products together. It's like a little combo with a, a little container with a few cassettes that this person is releasing. It's a very nice blog, very French. And she has this, um, this uh, Walkman on sale. What I understood is that RTM, Recording the Masters, is gonna practically inherit, uh, it's gonna take this basic idea and develop it, increase the quality Obviously, they're going to redo completely the outside part, which is a little bit dated. Uh, as you've been seeing on the thumbnail of the video, here's another image. It's going to be very more slick, much more thinner. It's going to have, uh, they told me, Bluetooth. Uh, it, overall, it's going to be a little more modern. Also, possibly a lithium battery re with recharge cap capability. So it will be much more, obviously, better than what is this. But they told me that more or less the quality of the audio is going to be this. They're going to try and improve it a little more, especially if the Kickstarter goes well. So you guys, we have to help them to do a good product. Uh, hence, we want to discover how good is this or how bad it is or whatever it is. So let's try it. just to show you a little bit what how it's constructed, how it's built. It goes with nor two normal double A batteries here. It is also a recorder. The overall quality feel is decent. I mean, it's plastic. It's pretty, a little bit bulky, but it's, I mean, it's nice. It's, it's not that bad, I think. I mean, if, when you put your hands on what they're currently doing, oh man, this looks like heaven. Um, as I would say, it's, it can also be powered 
by a transformer if you want. Otherwise, it goes by batteries. You can record. Obviously, you can have control of the audio. You can use your headphones. It has all the, the classic commands to, uh, to use your cassettes. It is one single cap stand. And more or less, that's about it. Let's try to listen now something on this. For this test, I'm going to try and play something I already did actually in a video. Here's a link where I tested different versions of this fantastic album by Calibro 35. Actually, they came out just now with a new album. Check it out. But this is an excellent tape because it does not have Dolby B, obviously, because it's a recent production. And as you can imagine, this does not have any type of noise reduction. So it's better to use something like that. And I didn't want to use a high quality cassette being recorded by myself. I wanted to use a standard cassette because that's what people are going to use it with this. So I think it's it's fair to use something like this. So let's try and see what happens. Let's plug it in and go. Okay, so I think you already have an idea. I think the quality is not that high. It's decent, but it's not very, very high. If we are thinking in our minds of the golden age of Walkmans, obviously. But nothing in production is going to even come close to that. Instead, if you start to have a comparison with what is currently produced, and since there are lots of cassettes now that are being produced by indie bands and shops, etc., and artists, etc., a lot of people want to have something to play with them and possibly bring them along. So this is an excellent idea, I think. And the quality is decent. To have a better comparison, I got something else so we can better understand how good or again how bad this is so for a start i got this what is this well actually if for example you go on amazon here i'll put a video where you can see a few models if you look closely i would say 90 percent of the models on sale are just variables different editions of this model if you pay close attention almost all models have this little indent here but they change what's in front so you think there are different models but it's always the same and i'm sorry to say crappy piece of gear now this is extremely flimsy this was only 16 euro about 20 dollars something like that and I forgot to mention, this costs um, around 60 euro, but it comes, uh, as I said, in a kit. So probably we could say more or less 50 euro, which could be considered around 60 dollars, which is, I mean, it's, it's a pretty high price in the end. But if it's good, I think it's worthwhile. But let's go back to the 20 dollar one very flimsy uh i like the fact that as you can see here i think so i hope so it's auto reverse which it's something that not everything ha uh, every any of these have it's rare something rare and very strangely i would say it's it's, it's a sony patent patent it says mega bass mm, 
I don't think so. But in any case, it does say, say megabats. Megabats. So let's try to open this little guy. This is all plastic. I mean, this is not metal. It, lo it may looks, look like it from, from the distance. It's not, guys. This is all plastic. All this is plastic. I'm almost afraid to touch it. And as you can imagine, all these um, products that are coming out are not actually meant for listening tapes, for listening to cassettes. Th yes, also, in fact, they all, all, all give a pair of even worse quality headphones. But apart from that, these are mainly conceived, as you can see, super USB to digitalize, to transform your cassettes in a digital file. Too bad that the converter in here will practically destroy the remaining quality of your cassette. In any case, please do not use these to digitalize your cassettes. No, you cannot do that. You will just have a terrible and horrible result. Okay, so let's forget about that. Let's get now our tape. Oh, actually, let's rewind it. Okay, and let's put it here. This one has a dual capstan, incredibly. Okay, let's put it here. This also has a DC entry, so you can power it with an external transformer. As you can see, the the uh, the jack here, the hole for the for the um, for your plugs and your cables and uh, headphones, is just plastic. It's very very flimsy. Well, maybe it's metal in the out in the first part of the outside, but not inside. Terrible. In any case, who cares if the sound is good? Is it? Mm. Is it? Mm. I don't know. Let's try. that was enough I think and probably you agree that the quality isn't that good I mean there's a background noise that is picked up from the the heads that is something that also I noticed in the silent part of a cassette on this model so uh, I also told them at RTM and they said that they were paying attention to this issue so they probably gonna solve that but in something like this, it's going to remain forever, as you can imagine. So, okay, this was obviously, I would say, much worse than the prototype. So for now, the prototype wins. But that was easy. I wanted to go something with a similar price. In fact, I also got a Tape Express by Ion, which, as you can see, again, the main concept is to digitalize your cassettes and convert them so you have them on your phone. But um, let's just say that this is a better quality tape player. I don't care if it digitalizes anything. I have other solutions, better solutions, quicker solutions, and just more efficient solutions to do that if I would like to do that, and I don't. And this already, as you can see, although it's pretty big, the quality of the of the plastic is a little better it is always plastic some parts a few parts are in metal and I would as I was saying the uh, price is more or less similar since this goes around uh, 40 but mainly I would say on the site it says $50 okay so 40 euro more or less okay so 
again, this model is different. It's also powered by two AA batteries. Um, in this case, you do not have the possibility to use an external transformer, an external power supply. As you can see here, again, we have a double cap stand. We have a very simple and normal uh, well for our cassette. Okay, put it in. Let's put in our jacks. And let's listen to the magic, if any is there. Okay, so what do you think about this one? I think that the quality of the ION, and this is their top model, they also have another one, but this one is should be the best, is much better, or at least it's better than this guy over here. I mean, this is really at the bottom of the whole line. Then I would say we have this one. But in the end, I think, in my opinion, that the quality of the prototype is a little better. Not dramatically better, but it's a little better in the end. Uh, where I would say mainly perhaps in the highs. The lows, lower frequencies, which are not that present in any of these models, it's booming a little, but it's not high quality, lower frequencies. Instead, the high, the highs, the higher frequencies here are a little better, in my opinion. Here we also have, I think, wow and flutter issues, strong wow and flutter, flutter issues, in my opinion. I think it's fair at this point to have a final confrontation with a true Walkman. So we have here a good model. A decent model by Sony, one of the last ones. Uh, very nice, very cool, very slick, as you can see. Uh, a good model, although not the top audiophile, high quality models. No, this is a normal model. But I think it is fair, as I said, to compare all these with, we could call it a reference, although I did not, again, I did not want to get a top notch type, otherwise it's, it's, it's not fair. This instead is a medium quality at the time, so it's a good comparison, I think. I don't have my lithium battery anymore, so I have to screw on this little guy here. Uh, all these later models had a lithium stick rechargeable, very cool, something that they're gonna do also, also for the RTM version, they said, they claimed, which was already present actually in this technology. This, I think it's from the early 90s, this one. So um, let's put in our cassette. Very nice, dual capstan. A fantastic head, actually. Whoops, got that one wrong. There we go. Okay. And let's press play.
obviously the quality of this I think is I would say much better than uh, all of these I'm, I mean it's that that's this this is the, t the pinnacle even though I said it's a medium type quality Walkman it is Sony those who invented it and you can just sense the, the the technology the quality that is put here it's at its pinnacle so it's very hard to beat something like this as you can imagine nevertheless um it isn't something dramatically fantastic like a high quality deck or the high top notch models just for your information i wanted to make sure to tell you that i disengaged turned off dolby obviously but i also turned off the mega ba bass okay i said bass print before sorry bass the mega bass i turned everything off so it's a little more closer to these other models okay guys so now i think you have an idea just to conclude this test i wanted also to put uh something with a voice because sometimes it's better to have a voice to compare uh, a, a product a medium in this case a tape player a Walkman so I'm gonna try just the first track of this interesting mixtape by Dollar Records which was actually made on a recording the master tape probably a Fox so this is a very 60s style uh, song with a female voice which is the best to test something and let's see how that turns out okay just on this model so you have an extra comparison Okie so guys I'm glad that they gave me the chance I want to thanks RDM that uh, in trusting me in doing this they did not push any uh, did not make any kinds of suggestions or they weren't pushy on me they didn't ask me to do something positive they just said review it no problem say what you have to say and I like that thank you as I said it's a decent recorder compared to the other things out there it's a, it's a good recorder hopefully they're gonna make it even better because I think they're listening all our comments me and the other guys who have a prototype now and soon as I said they're gonna sit, put this on Kickstarter and if the Kickstarter goes well they're gonna make a super duper tape player okay guys let's help them I'm gonna buy one certainly I can't wait for it and hope to see you soon thank you for watching Bye, guys. Oh, and obviously, remember, music was born analog. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.